Microsoft has officially added Steam and Epic game support to their Xbox app on PC. Whether you're using a laptop, a desktop, or even a handheld like we have here with the ROG Ally X. This comes a few weeks after Microsoft and ASUS announced the ROG Xbox Ally X and the Xbox Ally. So we're getting a lot of support here when it comes to Windows handhelds with the Xbox app on PC, and it's really great to see. But keep in mind, it's still a bit early, and there's a lot of features that are lacking that I'd love to see in the future. But just scrolling through the Xbox app here, you can see I've got games that just aren't on Game Pass or the Microsoft Store in general, like Left 4 Dead, Half-Life 2. These are games that I have in my Steam library, downloaded, ready to go to play. It actually scans that default directory, and as you can see, I've got Epic and Steam installed here. And of course, there are some limitations, like the fact that we can't install or uninstall games from Steam or Epic through the Xbox app just yet. Hopefully that's coming in the future. But we can open up our Steam page from here, and we can also launch the game. So as long as you've got the game downloaded through Steam, in the default directory, the Xbox app should be able to scan through and find it. Right here, show in Steam, it'll open up Steam for us, and of course we can launch it directly from here. Still going to be launching through Steam, obviously, but it's still really great to see this feature come to the Xbox app. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable this. It's actually pretty simple to do, but you will need to download the official Xbox Insider Hub application for Windows. Jumping in here a bit closer, still on that ROG Ally X. First thing we need to do is get the Insider Hub app, and I'll leave a link in the description. From the side menu, we've got our announcements. Moving down just a bit, previews, and this is where we want to be. There's actually several different previews that you can enable, but we're looking for PC gaming. That's the one that we want to enable. On this device, I've already enabled it. I can manage from here and disable completely from this device. But once you've signed in to your Microsoft account with the Insider Hub and enabled PC gaming, you're going to be prompted to update the Xbox application. And this can take around 20 minutes, so just be patient with it. What I did was enable it, waited just a bit, opened up the Microsoft Store, and checked for updates. And sure enough, there was an update for the new Xbox application. And this is what it looks like. So we've got the same basic look. And I'm using full screen mode right now, but you can use compact mode if you want to. Over on the left hand side, down at the bottom, we've got my recently played games. And all of these are Steam games. They're not included with Game Pass or anything like that. If we go up to our home section, we're not going to see our games here just yet. Hopefully in a future update, we'll see them right there. Obviously for Game Pass, Steam games aren't going to be over here. So we need to go to my library. And now from the library, we see all of the games that I have installed on Steam and even Epic, and I believe I don't have any Epic games installed just yet, but right underneath the name of the game, you can see it says Steam. Obviously, if it was an Epic game, it would say Epic. And if we go to the Xbox app settings, we've got a section known as Libraries and Extensions. You can see that Epic and Steam are listed here. We can enable or disable them, but chances are if you've installed this, you probably want to leave it enabled. So we'll head back and I'll show you a game that is for sure not in uh, Game Pass or on Xbox at all. Moving down, I'll find uh, Spider-Man 2 is a good one. I know for sure that one's not going to be on Xbox, at least at the time of making this video. We've got three options. Play, see in Steam. Once we choose that, it's going to bring up that Steam page for us. We'll have to manage the game from here, but we've also got that manage extension section. So again, we can disable or enable the other storefronts that we want to show inside of the Xbox application. Now again, this is not perfect by any means, because as you notice, when I'm scrolling through here, there are some images missing. So it looks like uh, the Xbox application isn't scraping them correctly from Steam, like Hades 2, which is a kind of a game that should have been scraped. I mean, I don't actually see why it wouldn't have been. Another one that didn't scrape correctly was uh, Oblivion Remastered, which is a game that's on Xbox. I figured they might be able to pull the artwork directly from their own storefront, but I'm not sure exactly how this works. And I'm sure a lot of this will be fixed down the road. One option I'd love to see is just the ability to add our own artwork. And chances are, if we get down deep into the file system, we could probably add an image like it is right now. But I didn't look into it for this video because I know it's really early for this. But yeah, if you want to get this up and running on your laptop, your handheld, your gaming PC, you can do it from that Insider Hub. Link for the hub will be in the description, and you will need to sign into your Microsoft account to get access to this. But you want to choose that PC gaming, 
and enable it on your device. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Just wanted to give you a quick rundown, and I'm definitely going to keep my eye on the Xbox application for new features. If anything major happens, I'll post it up in my community section or maybe even make another video. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Like always, thanks for watching.